On this edition of Night TV, we'll tell you the future benefits of independent study and mentorship, or ISM, and where to pick up your yearbooks. I'm Min Saju. And I'm Alejandra Salazar, and you're watching Night, Night TV. TV. Good morning, Knights. Nice. Today is Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. And before we get started, I just want y'all to recognize how great Minsaw oh. looks. Like, happy birthday <laughs> at the birthday fit. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But you know, speaking of recognition, tonight is Senior Recognition Night at 7 in the auditorium. You know, they must be really excited that, you know, their high school career is over. Oh, yeah. And, you know, now they get to move on to college. Mm -hmm. But now that there's only 17 days of school left, including weekends until summer, mm -hmm. it's time to reminisce about the past year. And what better way to do that than to look at the yearbook and see my crusty picture. <laughs> you know, I would usually say same, but for once my yearbook picture actually <laughs> looks good. So yeah, <laughs> but you know, but yearbooks are here and you can pick up your pre-ordered book during all lunches tomorrow in the book room A143, which is directly across the school store. Just remember to bring a photo ID for identification. They will also be selling extra autograph pages for $5 and clear protective covers for $7 or you can buy both for $10, which is a pretty nice deal. Yeah. <laughs> and all extra books will go on sale Thursday at 8 a.m. in room C204 for $80 cash. And if you aren't sure if you bought one, then check the door by C204. Mm -hmm. And attention to current future farmers of America, you guys will be having an FFA Fun Day, which will include several outdoor activities and an intro to next year's FFA officers. The event will be after school on Friday, and you can go sign up in Ms. Hendon's room. Yep. And moving along, Heritage High School, in partnership with the National Panhellenic Council North Dallas Suburbia Chapter, will be hosting the second annual Historically Black Colleges and Universities, or HBCU College Fair and Scholarship Informational next Wednesday, May 24th. <laughs> the event will be held in the Heritage Gym starting at 6 p.m. And the event is being held in effort to continue helping students become familiar with all their college options, especially historically black colleges and universities. Yep. And additionally, several local Greek letter organization chapters will be on hand to share their scholarship opportunity as well as youth programs. Since most colleges look for involvement and engagement in the community, these youth programs can help a student's application. You know, Minsa, another program that can actually like really help like your college application uh -huh. is this elective here on campus. Really? What is yeah. this? ISM. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, a <laughs> I'm actually taking that next year. And, you know, although there are many organizations that can help with colleges, this girl right here, Alejandra Salazar, goes inside the elective <laughs> ISM and shows you how it can benefit your future. As a junior or senior, the future is much closer than you may think. However, the elective independent study and mentorship can help you prepare for your chosen career. So ISM is basically a course that gives you the opportunity to study a specific subject with a mentor. Over the course of the school year, students take that research and get to experience their career while being guided by an experienced mentor. Uh, the mentor uh, influenced me by having a kind of a top figure, a figure for me to follow. It's something that I will model myself after. Mentors can range from being financial advisors, journalists, to engineers, which help the students with their future career choice. My mentor was a pediatrician, and basically I um, like watched him during his appointments, and I watched him like um, diagnose patients and stuff like that. Although ISM gives you a real-world experience, it can give much more. It also gives you, helps you with your professional skills, such as public speaking or making cold calls or just interacting in a professional environment. It is a class um, that most prepares them for college um, just because when things are due, they're due. When um, uh, they leave campus, they come back, they um, are, have to be professional when they're meeting with other people and so um, it just prepares them for the next level. While ISM is only an elective, applying for the class next year could benefit your future. 
I'm Alejandra Salazar with Night TV. Actually, super glad that I'm taking that next year. I think it's really going to help me for like college in the future. No, yeah, for sure. On another note, Best Buddies is looking for officers, and you can sign up on the bulletin board outside of C125. But if you don't want to be an officer and you still want to help out, you can sign up to be a peer buddy or an associate buddy. And if you don't really know what Best Buddies is, it's the world's largest nonprofit organization dedicated to ending social, physical, and economic isolation of the 200 million people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Disabilities, or IDD. The program helps people with IDD through forming meaningful, meaningful friendships with peers, secure successful jobs, live independently, improve public speaking, self-advocacy, and communication skills, and feeling valued by society. So go, to, go sign up if you're interested. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. So make sure to follow us on Twitter at night <laughs> underscore <laughs> TV. <laughs> And make sure to go check out our really cool website, nightpress.org. And if you're casually scrolling through YouTube, make sure to go check out our YouTube channel. Yep, just search up IHS Night TV and we should be the first thing to pop up. Well, I'm Min Saju. And I'm Alejandra Salazar. And remember to keep, keep it, it noble night. night. Happy birthday, Min Saju. Yeah. <laughs>